Good morning from Sevilla. One more day. We are gonna head to the Cathedral of Sevilla today. And last night we met a friend at our Airbnb. We went out for dinner and we invited her along. So she's gonna meet us at the Cathedral right now. We're in front of the cathedral, we're ready to go in. This is our new friend Lee. Hello, my name is Imbia Lee uh, from Korea. Nice to see you guys. <laughs> She's so sweet. Let's go. <laughs> we bought tickets ahead of time again. They were 10 euro per person. This is probably the most we've ever spent to go into a church. But if the Alcazar that we saw yesterday is any indication of what this cathedral is gonna look like, I'm so excited and it's gonna be so worth it. This is the third largest cathedral in the entire world, so let's go inside. Oh my lanta. This is on par with St. Peter's in Rome. Wow, wowzers. I don't know which direction to head or look first. The entire reason this church was built was to show Sabia's power and wealth. I think they did a really good job. Even the gates stopping you from walking into certain places are beautiful. This is the altar mayor. Gilded in three tons of gold, it is the life work of a single artist. That book looked like it was made of like gold leaves. During the Age of Exploration, the Catholic Church was a major beneficiary of the Quinto Real, a 20% tax on all precious metals coming to Spain from its colonies in the New World. From the 80 altars to the solid gold religious relics, the cathedral holds over 40,000 pounds of precious metals. This wing of the cathedral, the Sacristia Mayor, was built to house the many treasures in the church's possession. My neck is gonna hurt coming out of here again and just <laughs> the whole time. I had no idea, I'm in awe all over again. This is Christopher Columbus's tomb. It does not matter any other history or opinion on him is. He's a historical figure and I am so pumped to be able to see this. This is the coolest tomb I've ever seen. I think you guys all just witnessed Nathan geek out there for a second. That's so cool. So when this church was built, it obviously did not have electricity. And if you look up, in the center of all of these vaulted ceilings, you can see a massive hole. Well, there's one left. Every single one of those would have had a giant chandelier hanging from it with massive candles in them to light the whole church up. We're gonna make our way to the top of the Geraldo Tower. Once again, 
very important you film from every single angle. <laughs> All four sides. You can see so much. The bullfighting ring right here? What are those called? Uh, an El Toro. An El Toro. One of these bills just went off and we're not sure why or which one. It scared me so bad that I accidentally clicked the stop recording. The reason these tickets for us were $10 is it's actually $5 for the church and $5 for the tower. You don't get a deal if you combine them, but definitely worth it. And after seeing the beautiful cathedral, we're gonna do what we always do and go get some tapas and beer. Somehow, every time we go out and get tapas and beer, the total is always the same. It's about 12 euro per person. We get one drink, a tapa or two per person, and then we just have a good time and share everything. We're done with our tapas and beer, and we're gonna go out one more time because one thing that Kristen and Bethany wanted to do while they were here is to go and see Flamenco. So we're gonna go to a bar where they have a free show. Also, the siesta in Spain is a real thing. Most of the time between five and six and about 8 p.m., Everything closes down. Not all restaurants close down, but most of them do. And so today we're gonna go back to the apartment, relax for a little while, and then go and head to the flamenco bar. You can't come to Sevilla and not see flamenco because this is the city of flamenco. It originated here. We're gonna ask our dancing expert, what exactly is flamenco for anyone who doesn't know? So flamenco is a Spanish style dance. It's dance accompanied with a guitar and singer. And it is a very passionate dance. You tend to see them very in the moment and they will have their eyes closed and be really feeling the music and the guitar and the vocals. And it does um, come from right here in Sevilla. So we gotta go see it. You have to. On our way out, I will probably be. All of that. <laughs> Wait, what was that? <laughs> I have a feeling tonight's experience is going to be good just based on this alley that we're heading down right now. The street has gotten even more and more narrow the further we've gone. I think we're the first to arrive, but that guarantees a good seat. All the reviews said to get here early because it okay. opens at 7 and the seats fill up fast, but we're here about three minutes before opening. We've come to La Cabernaria to watch the flamenco. It's the only free place that I know of in this city. They open at 7, but the dancing doesn't start till 8.30. So we're going to sit here for a while, but we did get the best seat in the house, even according to our waitress. This bar in particular is cash only. It's one of the only places that we've ever come across in the entire country of Spain that's cash only. So I'm really glad we saw that sign before we started ordering drinks. Bienvenido a la Carbonería. Welcome to Carbonería. This has been so much fun so far. I feel really lucky to see this in a place like this. It doesn't seem formal, but it feels authentic and with the locals. El beso del tu adiós quemó mi sentimiento.
Well, that was something. <laughs> that was so much fun. And we probably would not have gone if it wasn't for Kristen. She wanted to go all week long and made sure that we go. So we went. It was free. The food was good. The drinks were affordable. And the performance was amazing. Yep. I think my favorite part was her face when she'd get in character. She oh, was yeah. Whole time. <laughs> not to make fun of it, but that's no. really what she looked like. Yeah. Okay, our resident dance expert, what did you think about that performance? Flamenco can be hit or miss in different shows and different places that you go. I do have to say, she was absolutely incredible with all the heels and the, the stomps and the, the turns and everything. It's really cool to watch. So if it's a hit or miss, that one was a hit. That one was a hit, definitely. Sadly, tonight is the last night Kristen and Bethany are with us. Tomorrow, they head home. We'll see you tomorrow. We're dropping the kids off at the bus stop. So sad. Thank you. Thanks for showing us around. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much. I'll so see you guys you. soon, yes, and we'll be in Thailand next. Yes. <laughs> it didn't hit me until right when they were getting on the bus. It's like, That's oh, sad. I miss a successful week, though. Yeah. It could not have gone better. We have one more night in Sevilla, and then we head to Barcelona. Yeah.